There is certainly no place like home. Whether it's in a big ranch in the countryside or a small comfy space in the center of the city, a home is a place where we always want to go back to. This is where we rest at the end of a day full of work, and a space to find comfort after long travels around the world. For some people, the idea of home is beyond just having a place to rest and eat. For them, home can be anything from a twin-towered building in the center of infinite gardens to a living room with 360-degree views of the closest ocean. Today, we'll be looking at 10 of the most incredible and expensive homes on Earth. Keep in mind that our picks are not only expensive, but they are very unique in their own ways. They feature spaces that you never thought could exist inside someone's home. Make sure you watch them all. Perhaps you'll get ideas for your own dream home. Number one will definitely change the way you think of home so far, though. Number 10. Chateau Artisan. Who doesn't want to live surrounded by water? Back in the day, people would dig ditches around their homes and fill them with water to protect them from invaders. Today, surrounding your home with water is more of a luxury rather than a protection technique. That is the case of Chateau Artisan, a French-style house surrounded by water that looks like something out of a fairy tale. On one end of the property, you can find the staircase entrance, right after you walk through the courtyard, which will definitely make you feel like you've traveled back to medieval times, or, you know, to the set of Legend of Zelda, or Skyrim. Either or. On the opposite end, there is an amazing square pool with a fountain in the middle. At this property, you can also find a terrace jacuzzi, a koi pond, and of course, swans that get to enjoy the benefit of having this man-made lake. The three-story house, which is at the center of the property, has eight bedrooms and eight bathrooms. The building is not as big as other buildings on our list, but the outdoor space definitely makes up for it. Number 9. Celine Dion's Water Park Mansion. You've heard her music, you might have seen her perform, you might have bought all of her CDs, but did you ever get to see what Celine Dion's house looks like? Down in Jupiter Island, Florida, one of the most expensive places in the USA, Celine Dion built a mansion, a space to go back to after all those weeks of touring around the world. With Bahamian vibes at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean, this mansion has 13 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms, surrounded by wide open spaces and amazing views. What makes her place so unique is the water-sized pool that sits at the front of her palace looking home. It even has a water slide. Back in 2017, Celine finally put her home in the market with a $72 million price tag, but she ended up selling it for only $27 million. I suppose the real question is, do you think it's worth that much? Number 8. The San Francisco Eco-Friendly Mansion Now that people are constantly looking for ways to make a positive impact on their environment, it makes sense that a house on our list is not only expensive, but also eco-friendly. We're talking about this $40 million house in San Francisco's Billionaire Row. About 40% of its energy comes from the sun, and it has a rainwater collection system that can hold more than 5,000 gallons of water. Can you just imagine that? This house pretty much works in harmony with nature. With 7 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms, this house had to go through a long process to get where it is. The end result is rewarding after all that time, however. This house is fully automated. Lights, music, temperature, doors, everything can be controlled from a personal device such as a smartphone or a computer. Even the light bulbs will adjust automatically if you were to move the artwork or furniture underneath them. Whether it's day or night, the non-reflective glass windows offer incredible views of San Francisco and its most popular landmarks such as the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz. What better way to spend $40 million than using it towards a house as green as this one? Number 7. 924 Bel Air Mansion If you grew up in the 90s, you might remember Bel Air from the show that made Will Smith famous. You're too young for that? Well, here's what you need to know. Bel Air is where rich people live. It's one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Los Angeles. And today, one of the properties on this neighborhood made it to our list. We're talking about the mansion on 924 Bel Air, nicknamed Billionaire. This place stands out among others because of all the entertainment you can find in it. A four-lane bowling lounge, a 4K movie theater for 40 people, a large infinity pool with an outdoor pop-up theater, an auto gallery, and around 100 curated art installations. The amenities are simply insane. It's like somebody came in and brought LA to their house. The house is fully stocked with two champagne and wine cellars and a massive candy wall. Through its windows, you can get a glimpse of the LA skyline. Wouldn't you like to live here? Well, when the house hit the market, it was listed at a US $250 million, which at the time made it the most expensive home in America. 
However, after multiple price cuts, the property was finally sold at only $94 million in October of 2019. Number 6. Via Las Cedras Next on our list is a mansion down on the coast of St. Jean Cap Ferrat in the south of France. We've actually talked about this home before on a previous list, why not check that out as well? This place is the perfect combination of luxury and history. The mansion has existed since 1830. And since 1850, when it was first bought, Villa Les Cedres has been home to many residents, including King Leopold II from Belgium. Before becoming a proper residence, the property was an olive tree farm, which explains the many 300-year-old olive trees. How many olive trees again? Well, they surround the entire house. There are lots of palm trees and cedar trees as well. After all, Cedres is the word for cedar in French, and I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. Either way, it's expected to find that kind of tree around. The interior of the house preserves a lot of the history from its previous occupants. There's a massive library with a book dating back to the 1600s, which is worth several thousand euros. The house was put on the market back in 2017, and a mystery buyer finally agreed to pay 200 million euros in August of 2019. Number 5. Eden Towers Sky Penthouse now, we know a penthouse is pretty much the expensive version of an apartment, but can a penthouse be expensive and interesting enough to make it to this list? Absolutely! I mean, at $357 million, Monaco's Edon Tower Sky Penthouse promises to be the most expensive penthouse ever! With majestic views of the Mediterranean Sea and endless views of Monaco, this place will make you forget you are inside a five-story penthouse in one of the largest buildings on the Mediterranean coast. Need to release some stress? Just walk out or slide down to this house's circular infinity pool that's connected to the main building through a water slide. If you thought homes inside a vertical building would make things more compact and simple, you might want to think again. Number 4. Antilia in Mumbai, the most expensive in the world. This is Antilia, and it's considered the most expensive house in the world. It took $1 billion to build it, but some people say its current value is closer to $2 billion. What can be so special about this odd-looking building? Well, down in the southern part of Mumbai, Antilia is the home to Mukesh Ambani, the richest man in Asia and one of the richest men in all over the world. This building is only 27 stories high, but don't let those numbers fool you. The ceilings on some floors are so double the regular height, which makes Antilia as high as a 60-story building. At this home, you can find helipads, a parking space for up to 168 cars, a theater that can comfortably host 50 people, terrace gardens, a spa, and even a temple. I get why this building is so expensive. Number 3. Bill Gates House This list wouldn't be complete without Bill Gates on it. You can only expect someone as wealthy as him to be the owner of the most extravagant homes on Earth. This house has more bathrooms than bedrooms. It also took 7 years, $63 million, in the hands of 300 construction workers to complete this home. Bill named his house Xanadu 2.0 based on the movie Citizen Kane. Xanadu 2.0 interacts with its surroundings to regulate its temperature efficiently. While most people prefer to display works of art on their walls, the walls of this place are filled with computer screens displaying different paintings and photography. These screens can display your favorite artwork with just a touch of a button. Xanadu 2.0 also has a pool with its own music system, a trampoline room, an Art Deco-style movie theater, and a reception hall where Bill can host a dinner party for around 200 guests. The food can come from one of the six kitchens spread throughout different corners of the house, making it ready to host events at any given moment. And I'd actually like to get an invite from Bill to check this out. I hear he gives out Xboxes as party favors. Now it's time for the day's best pick. I really like this kind of pool with glass walls. These pools are very modern and inviting. When I came across this image, I started to wonder what it would be like to live in a place where I can swim surrounded by the sounds of nature. And then I found a house that really inspired me. Number 2. The Fish House in Singapore Nothing compares with the heat in Southeast Asia, and there is no better way to enjoy it than having a house with an ocean front in the lush landscape of Singapore. Such is the case of the Fish House, a tropical bungalow that was built in 2009 with the goal of creating a living space in close relationship with nature. This was easily accomplished by putting the pool right in the middle of the jungle-like garden, and an endless ocean view. The view is in fact present at the different naturally ventilated spaces of the house. The place is compact yet full of exotic features. There is a media room at the basement level with an acrylic window that constantly reminds us of the house's connection to nature. The window allows natural light into the room as well as views out into the pool. 
The house has plenty of green spaces for lounging and enough photovoltaic panels to bring enough energy to power up the whole house. I hear some people have a hard time living in nature for too long, but I'm sure they would change their mind if they lived here. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Brunei's Palace On the northern part of the island of Borneo, there is a small nation called Brunei. This little country is home to the largest private residence in the world, the Astana Nurul Iman. This literally translates into the Palace of the Light of Faith. The construction of this massive palace was completed in 1984 at a decent cost of 1.4 billion. If you're wondering how large is the largest place in the world, looking at some numbers might give you an idea. The place has 1,788 rooms, including 257 bathrooms. It also has 5 swimming pools, 44 stairwells, and 18 elevators. You thought Bill Gates' dining hall was big? Well, it doesn't compare to the Brunei's palace. It has a capacity of up to 5,000 people. It also has a mosque that can easily fit 1,500 people, which is not surprising given the fact that Brunei is considered a predominantly Muslim nation. The property has 110 different garages where the Sultan keeps his 7,000 cars, including his Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Aston Martins, and many other vehicles that he owns. Some of them are custom-made, even. If that wasn't enough, there is also an air-conditioned stable for the Sultan's 200 ponies. The Sultan surely knows how to live lavishly. How much is your dream house? How much is your current house? Have any of our current picks inspired you? Let us know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all next time, everybody. Have a good day.